a little, a little word to the wise. If you ever go to this place, bring a rental. <laughs> because first of all, all the animals are waiting for you. <laughs> They're like, oh, we got, we got a visitor. <laughs> we got a visitor. <laughs> There's one elephant, he's missing his, his, one of his legs are turned in. He... <laughs> but when you get it, there's all these baboons waiting for you. Not monkeys, baboons. And literally, as soon as the gate opened, the baboons are on your car, trying to rip it to pieces. <laughs> He's on the side view mirror working this thing for 10 minutes. And I can only go 10 miles an hour. That's the law. So they're walking alongside your car, staring at you. And they're ripping the hubcaps off and the lining on the hubcaps. And they completely engulf your car. And the kids are starting to get freaked out. Because they're in the window staring at them. <laughs> and the kids are going, um, Dad? Dad, are we safe? I I'm not going to give you false hope. I don't know. I've never been to a place where they're ripping a the car apart and there's nobody in sight to help us except for Marge. So we, we put the car in park because nobody's there. And that's, then all of a sudden, the ostriches come out of nowhere. Like, yeah. And they instantly attack the car, a big ostrich leg. And I hear my car, the metal just crunching. And these guys are working on the hubcaps and the side view mirror. And I'm trying to make them go away. I'm hitting the gas. None of them are moving. Now I see there's one ostrich checking me out. And I, I feel like he's trying to challenge me. So I roll down the window. And he sticks his head in. So he's, he's looking at me. He's looking at the kids. He's looking at me. I'm like, wow, that's a wild animal. So I take my phone, I give it to my daughter, I'm like, quick, put it on camera. I'm gonna grab his neck and put my face next to that. And But that's when I realized he was sizing me up. Cause soon she's like, all right, dad, I got it on camera. I went to grab me, duck, and he wailed me. And I was knocked out for about three seconds. The only reason I know is because when I came to, my kids were in my face going, dad! Oh my gosh, you were sleeping really hard. You're going this really quick with your eyes. And when I came to and I felt like, what's going on? He hit me again. But now he didn't knock me out. So now I'm fighting this thing. I'm fighting the ostrich. He's taking a whack at me. And I'm like, I've been a slayer. I fear, I don't fear. I do not fear an ostrich. So we're going at it. He's got, he hits me in the belly and I'm trying to grab him. And we're going, and I start, I start laughing. And as I laugh, he <laughs> hits me. Because it's funny, at the end of the day, I'm fighting a bird. And I'm not even fighting a whole bird. I'm fighting a neck and a head. And I'm losing. I'm losing to a neck and head. I finally get the car and drive, take off. I ran over at least two baboons. I heard them. And I can't see from all the dust. I'm just looking for the exit. And I turn on the windshield wipers and I don't have any. And I look at the rear view mirror and there's the baboons next to the ostriches with my windshield wipers. <laughs> Sign of victory. And I'm leaving there, my head's all busted up. I have nothing left on the car. 
And the kids went, oh, Dad, we're really sorry. And I said, don't, you know what? Don't be sorry, because for a kid of Pepsi, that was great entertainment. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. This is when I knew I was going to go into stand-up comedy. Um, 